If you see us in this driveway, you know what time it is. We are doing some upgrades, some projects. We have something that we've been putting off that is absolutely necessary because when we drive this truck with the camper on it, we feel a lot of wobbity wobbity. We feel a lot of sway, you know what I mean? It's pretty stable, but I know that there are some upgrades that we can do to make our ride even smoother. Today we're gonna be installing these. Well, I'm not gonna install them. I'm gonna find somewhere that can install them for me because yeah, I don't, I, that's way out of my league. Welcome back to Honey I Roam. I'm Amber, my girlfriend is Julieta, and our dog Winston have been traveling the country for three years. We live in this truck camper that we renovated. In this video, we're gonna be getting stuff done. Life is so much work, isn't it? I mean, seriously. Well, we are learning, if you love what you do, it doesn't feel as much like work. We got the famous Bill Steen 4600 these are the front and the rear shocks. We're gonna upgrade these. We've had the stock shocks, the stock shocks on, and we have about 140,000 miles on it. It's definitely time for us to upgrade those. But the thing is, I need to find a place that's gonna do it for us, so let's make a few phone calls. Hey, good morning. Um, I'm calling, I actually have a truck and I bought some Bilstein shocks for that. Is that something that you guys would do? Uh, I probably wouldn't, yeah. We typically don't install customer parts yet. Okay, thank you. Bye. Sure. Okay, that might be a little hard for us um, because I don't think that our lift will be able to handle the weight. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we'd be able to do that for you, but okay. let me see here. Thank you so much for your help. You know, come by and just talk with me. My name is Jay. Okay. And then I can give you a quote right there on the spot, too. It doesn't sound like we able to put on the lift, but a lot of times shocks can be done on the ground. You know, it's just a little harder, but you can you can do it. You, you, know? you guys are awesome. Yay! So I know that, like, sometimes doing these kinds of things and bringing them into a mechanic shop, some mechanic shops, they want to be picky about what they want to do. Totally understand. Like, there's a little bit of complications here as far as the slide-in camper and stuff like that. <sighs> but... I know that there's some good ones around and honestly like I would even be willing to pay a little bit more just because I understand like we're not buying the parts from them it's gonna be a labor thing only and we cannot put this truck on a lift typically so yeah it makes it a little more difficult for them than just like a straightforward job The ride isn't bad, it's fairly smooth, especially when we're just on highways, but I want to be doing more off-roading and it for it to be more comfortable. And we'll see, I mean, I think we already need shocks anyways, so it can't hurt. We're at Performance Plus Automotive. I'm gonna plug these guys, they're in Cocoa, Florida, because they were awesome enough to take on this job for us and we truly, truly appreciate it. A couple hours later and we have the new shocks on the truck and they look really cool. I like the blue yellow look. I mean, it doesn't stand out like crazy, but it's kind of a cool looking like shock in my opinion. Now we're gonna drive it and see how it does. Thank you so much to the crew at Performance Plus Automotive here in Cocoa, Florida. They hooked me up. Here's the front ones. We're in a little bit of a bumpy area, so this will be a good indication. Since I've driven this so many miles, I know what it feels like when I'm backing up and the sway that I feel. And it's already so much better. I can feel a noticeable difference. Picture this, it's six months ago. We're driving down a tiny dirt road in Texas and a little eensy beensy pebble. Eensy beensy, that's how small it was. It was about this big. It hit our windshield on our truck and it created a tiny crack. It was devastating in the moment. I didn't know how big it was gonna get. And we didn't do anything about it until now. We just made an appointment and our incredible tech just drove here at 8.30 in the morning to replace our windshield. We didn't have to go anywhere. This is incredible. This is my kind of to-do. Uh, Unless I got a vehicle like I got coming up, a, a ProMaster. When this crack started, it was just a little tiny centimeter, and it's grown to, what would you say, eight inches or so? Oh yeah, at yeah. least, yeah. At least eight inches, so instead of repairing it, they're gonna replace the whole windshield. 
They as in he. It's a one-man show out here. It's so small you can hardly even see it, but the crack is right here. Ooh, ooh. The windshield is out. Have you ever seen a more beautiful windshield? It feels so good to be able to get some stuff done right now. So we have one more project that we're gonna do in this video. Getting our windshield replaced was pretty big for us. It had just been on our to-do list and it's always just nagging in the back of your head. You know, it's fine, it wasn't leaking. But now that we got that done today, check, I can highlight it, check it off my list. And that feels so good. Are you having a good day, Winston? He's sniffing hard. Today is an absolutely beautiful day here in Florida. It's like, I don't know, 70 degrees, so sunny, perfectly breezy. But for the past few days, it's been rainy as could be like torrential downpour, tornado warnings even, which tornado warnings, I don't feel like those were always a thing. That's a new thing that we have to look out for, but they're rare, right? I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna worry. Our camper, our camper is good. It's time for a beer. So I'm gonna review it for you. Today we are drinking a Goose Island beer. This is a hazy beer hug. It's a hazy IPA coming in at 6.8%. Part of a variety pack that I've kind of been stuck on. I think they sell it at Publix or Winn-Dixie, whatever grocery store you have around. It might even be on sale. Let's try it. Woo, it's really florally, almost like, like essential oils in there like the peel of an orange almost. It's really bright and fruity. Mmm. Mmm. Cheers. I am painting the inside of the door. We just thought it'd be a fun project. Plus, what really prompted this was the fact that we're gonna change out the lock on the truck camper. And I'm also gonna be putting a cover over that window because when the sun is shining in, it's really bright, like right in my eyes. I swear I just have to wait for one second. I walk out here and she's halfway done with everything. <laughs> First coat done. I thought we were gonna go take off the hardware, but. I already did it. I already did it. Yep, I was too anxious to do it. I wanted to do it. <laughs> wait, did you hear that? What time is it? It's time to cook. Today I'm gonna to be whipping up something delicious, simple. It's something that I thought of because we only have a few ingredients right now. Let's get into it. First order of business, chop the sweet potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna press. This recipe is all about the seasoning, so we are going to actually measure instead of just using an eye because I don't wanna make it too spicy or too tangy. First, we're gonna start with cumin. We have two teaspoons of cumin one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and half a teaspoon, it said cayenne, but I have red pepper. We're just gonna put a little dash. This really makes it hot, okay? Little dash. I have some olive oil. We're gonna coat these sweet potatoes. Once they're coated, we're gonna put half of the seasoning on the potatoes. Tofu is dried out. Now we're gonna cube it. Okay, we're gonna coat it with some olive oil. While our blackstone is heating up, we're gonna make that aioli, which is really simple. I'm gonna do half mayonnaise and half sour cream. Put this in a bowl. Lemon, I'm just gonna squeeze a lemon into it. it looks great. You like the color I picked? Yeah, I love it. So today's recipe, Julieta would never pick this, probably out of like 20 things. It smells good. <laughs> you wanna try good. it? Yeah, I mean, I do like curries. That sauce looks delicious. Mm. Everything on the griddle is really good though. Oh, wait, Sorry. I top it. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, I added way more seasonings in this sauce than I showed you. I just added way more pepper and garlic. I also added some agave. Organic French onion crispies, can't go wrong. Ta-da! And it's a lot of flavors. Let's get you a sweet potato. That looks super flavorful. Mmm, it's delicious. You like it? Mmm, <laughs> the sauce is really good. Just a little bit sweet, but very nice and tangy. Mmm. Mmm! Nice acid ratio in there, I like it. Mmm! 
That's delicious. Wait, it feels like you pay a lot of money for that. Doesn't it? Mmm. That's good. Mm. I'm, it. I'm so glad you like it. We're gonna head out soon and go camping. We'll see you in the next video. We love you. My sister-in-law, Brittany, did a hair wrap for me. So when I was growing up, I love getting a little hair wrap. We would get them like at SeaWorld, but then my mom said, I'm gonna learn how to do that. And she did, and then we all learned. And look how cute this is. It's just a piece of hair with embroidery string that's wrapped around it. It's bringing me back. Bringing me back, nostalgia, childhood. Woo, woo. Put a little seashell on the end from the beach. <laughs> it's the little things, right?